oh we're back <laughs> we're so back um <laughs> i decided to paint every day for seven days so a week um so this piece i like put off for like months and then i finished it and it was ugly and terrible and i liked my like initial like kind of sketch of it better or not sketch i guess it's like what i did in my sketchbook why did i do gouache on this canvas what is wrong with me it just didn't go it didn't blend what, what is wrong with me why did i do that it's ugly. Look at it. It's ugly. It's ugly. If you recognize who this is, no the fuck you do not. No the fuck you do not. Shut the fuck up. I was trying to, um, whatever. Don't care. <laughs> I'm not explaining it because it's just ugly. This was a project for my 2D design class. We had to work on texture. And so I, I like, drew my, like crystals and my little incense the incense came out great i love how they looked i do not have the finish the finished product because it is at my it's like in a drawer at my school so so you don't get to see it <laughs> sorry <laughs> but the next piece coming up is actually i'm very passionate to talk about so it is inspired by the two Fridas. Now, um, so the two Fridas, there's this great video um, by, uh, by Great Art Explained that talks about the two Fridas. So I would check it out. And so the two Fridas is like a, a turning point in Frida Kahlo's life um, where she is getting divorced by her ex-husband, Diego Rivera. And there's, like, moments of her developing as a person. And it's not just about her divorce. It is also about her coming into her own being and and, and figuring out who she is. You never stop figuring out who you are, but she's refiguring herself out. And so, um, and she had to come to that and do that through, through, through this, this divorce and this, like, ending of her relationship. And so that's sort of what <laughs> happened to me. Um, I wouldn't. Okay. I'm. I'm gonna call it a breakup because there's no need to get too personal. But personal enough. Oh, I fucked over there. <laughs> but personal enough where you understand the full concept of what I was trying to do. So like, my take on the two Fridas was like more of like wanting to stay with this person and wanting to make things work but also understanding that it wasn't going to work and I needed to move on and and feel better and stuff like that and so it was so so yeah so so it's kind of based on that inside so there's there's like it's split between two pieces um and like this one is okay why am i so bad at talking please okay so this one on the left is is more like um a confined version of the one on the right where it's like i'm looking back because i'm looking at what i want but i'm looking forward because i know i should be looking forward and then the piece on the right is like that split between and also showing the me looking ahead is <laughs> am I explaining this correctly? The 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 me looking ahead is is lighter because it is a lesser quieter feeling. And and also the blue um anyway, I don't want to get too personal. But um the way the the brush strokes are for the blue um are also very intentional as well um it was very interesting to do um and you know it was more f like a for me piece than anything else it wasn't to like build skill or anything so this is actually a, f a final piece in a series that I did that I started last year and so it's four pieces I actually submitted two pieces 
to be published, and they both got accepted. So I, I'm very excited to show that. Um, I, I don't have it now. I'll probably have it, like, in a couple months. So this is the last piece of that. And I've had this idea since, I think, the summer. And so I'm just kind of showing, like, some final ideas here of what I wanted to do. It came out okay. I think the sketch came out better. Um, It feels a little bare. I think I might go back and add stuff. Maybe bubbles. I'm not quite sure. Um, But the series as a whole is definitely complete. I don't think I'm going to do a fifth one. We'll see, but I don't find the need to, just with the meaning and stuff. I would love to make, like, a whole separate thing and talk about all of them together. But it's just very exciting to even see the end of a very personal series. So, (laughs) oh my god, I'm so ridiculous. So I'm not over it. So I went, so I went back um it's funny to look back now because like I did like I usually like will like start planning and filming and whatever oh my god filming I sound so like ridiculous saying that um at the beginning of the month so now it's like the end of March and I feel like very moved on um so anyways this is me like kind of redoing the idea I did for the first piece by having this kind of art history moment where you know religious figures or religious type people will have this sort of halo in the back of them except the halo is blue um just to sort of symbolize that person so (laughs) oh lord and of course we're looking to the to the left again for the final two days, I did figures. I can't really show one of them because it's a nude figure. But I think a couple of days ago, so towards the end of March, I actually did some prints in the printmaking studio at school. So I did Angela Davis and then I did another figure. And I thought I would show what I just completed, I guess, the day of me doing this, is I did another 2D assignment where I had to do an album cover. And this is Gender is Boring by She, Her, Hers. It's not really an album. It's their song. So that's all I really had for recordings. But I did say, like, two months ago, yeah, two months ago, that I started reading Mediocre by Ajoma Luo. And by the time I, I, would, I would post this video, I should be done with it. I'm not done with it, but I am on the last chapter, and I have, like, 22 pages left, and I will say it's still probably up there as my favorite, like, my favorite two books, I think, are White Fragility by Robin D'Angelo, and then Mediocre by Joma Luo, and then, oh no, we have to cut out the feet, wait, dude! Okay, I cropped it and zoomed it in, and then I just cut out the feet for this one. Um, but yeah, so um, I would love to talk a little bit more about the book when I actually finish it. I'm gonna put off reading my first Angela Davis book because I want to pre-read. I, I'm a I'm a slow reader, so I <laughs> the cut off of the foot. Um, so I'm gonna have to, uh, put it on pause until a couple months. But yeah, I mean, the whole summer is gonna be the artist way. So I don't exactly know how I'm gonna, like, share that, but I'm so excited to, to do it. Um, I'm just like Apple Cheeks. (laughs) Like, really. Like, I'm just like her. (laughs) Um, so that's pretty much it. Um... I'm so excited to be back. I have so many ideas. No, no, the feet. Okay, I don't know what I was thinking. I should have just put it on this video. Even though this is an ugly piece, we're, we're going to look at it in shame. <laughs> this, this painting jump scare. But no, I think that's it. I don't even have a little cute little bug that I saw that I put at the end of the video. I don't have, I don't have that really. I didn't, I didn't see a little guy. I didn't see a little bug. Um... But I, yeah, I guess that's it. I forgot. I think I, I remember I planned an idea for what the next video was going to be, but I don't really remember what it was going to be. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> um, 
so that's basically it. And I'm excited to be back. And yeah, in, in May, we're going to do the artist way. It's going to be freaking epic, dude. I'm so freaking excited. And I'm so excited for school to end. And I'm so excited to be back. <laughs> oh, we're so back. <laughs> That's it. Um, sorry for the feet jump scare. <laughs> um, and I'll, I guess I'll see everyone next month. And that's it. <laughs> Bye.